presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to our man Dave in Clearwater. Hey, Dave, Happy New Year. What's happening, man? Happy New Year too, my brother. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, man. How you been? I am doing well, man. I'm doing well. Can I throw a quote out at you? Sure. <laughs> in the market, somebody knows something. Someone always knows something. That statement was made by a great trader by the name of Tom O'Brien about six, seven years ago. Oh, yeah. And it kind of hit me like a brick. You're right. Somebody always knows something. Hey, Carlos, what's going on, brother? I'm calling you back, Tom. This morning, I had a pleasure to talk to you and your son, and I don't want to miss the opportunity to talk to you again. Why? Well, I think you made some money on this bond. <laughs> oh, yes, Tom. Your newsletter helped me. Oh, that's a beautiful to, uh, thing. We appreciate the growling problem us out here. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great week, folks. Kicking into Labor Day uh, weekend is pretty wild, man. Surrender and let go of the past. Always do your best. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you'll, you'll allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that's happening right here, right now. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 24, NASDAQ up 14, S&P's down one and a half, gold contract up $18.10, trading at 1316 an ounce. You get that ABC structure, first price projection, 1327. Silver, up 40 cents, $17.54. That's going after its swing high of $17.95. Platinum, up 12 bucks, $9.87. You get the copper bucket, that let it off. That's up another three and a half pennies, 308 a pound. That looks like it's on its way to 323. Light sweet crew, down a buck 18, $46.69 a barrel. Notes, 10 year note, up three ticks, 126.31. 30 year bond up five ticks, 156.22. King dollar down a half a penny of 527 ticks, 92.145. You have the euro trading at 119 to the US dollar. The yen is out here at 109 to the US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? And the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You got a sideways market. We're trading out at a price point. You get light volume. Um, you're down 20 cents. Bottom line, I expect what you're going to see out here. So this week here gets really interesting. And the reason being, folks, normally in the summer, you get Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you can get some action. This week, you're really only talking Tuesday, Wednesday. The reason being, even half a day Thursday, Friday, people are going to be splitting if they come into work at all for the long weekend. Thursday afternoon, you'll see it actually will get slow. So what I do expect uh, is a little more action tomorrow. The next day, uh, bottom line is that this is going to, uh, the good old spy here, we're going to, I suspect, start making our way down somewhere into 243 mark. Uh, that's on the short term basis this week. The spy wants to trade down to 235.43. That is the low of May 18th. NDX 100, same type of setup out here inside the NDX 100. You get a sideways move, it's up 32 cents inside day. Uh, the NDX is already in its lower trading range. Once it broke inside the 143 bottom line, that lines up 135. So we'll see how we uh, get down into the, that number. Gold contract, gold contract finally broke topside. Now, it, it, when I say finally broke topside, it was already a confirmed ABC structure in the way up. But for the way that the dollar was moving, uh, you, my take is that you weren't getting the type of moves that I expected we were going to get. Bottom line, you got them now, and you can expect them. This is going to be fast, furious, all of the above. We launched the 1307 mark of the um, April high. We launched the um, 1305 mark of the June high. If we, if we take this and we put this together, what you're going to see, and this is where we've been building the cause, the gold contracts have been actually building cause to blow away 
It's October and November downdraft. That's what there's been. That's why there's been so much cause that's been building. That old October downdraft, we went from thirteen hundred and sixteen dollars to twelve forty nine with volume. November, we went from thirteen thirty eight to twelve eighteen with volume. That's what it just launched. Gold's on its way up to thirteen seventy seven fifty. Silver, same type of setup in silver. They got the launch in silver also. Uh, gold's up by one point. 3%, silver's up 2.35%, and uh, you talk about a little rocket ship, uh, silver got it. Silver's done 53,000 contracts out here. Um, you, it already had one ABC up, you get, you get a larger one. Silver wants to run up to this, uh, it looks like, you know, the first swing point is 1792, but silver looks to me like it's gonna make that run into April 17th, when you're talking about 1887. Notes. Now, this is going to get wild, man. We are right next to this high. Okay, so the 10-year note, June high, 127.08. We hit 127 today. That's eight ticks away, folks. Uh, eight ticks away, that's nothing. Uh, bottom line, I expect we're going to get there. The real kicker is going to be, do we break that with conviction? 30-year uh, bond, 157.08. Same type of setup. Do you break that? And we do we break it with price spread? And if that's what you get, you're going to see these rates go down fast and furious. Right now, what we have at the 10-year rate, 10-year rate now is 2.159. Uh, King dollar. What do you have a King dollar? Get the peanut butter, jelly, get the toast, get it all. King dollar is done. Uh, what's going to get intriguing here now, this is just a very small ABC structure on the way down. King dollar hasn't been able to catch a bid since January 3rd. You broke the B point on Friday with, with volume. Um, you get a small ABC structure on the way down. 91.19 is your number. That being said, if we take a look at King Doll, this baby's gonna run to the 88 area. That is the highs of 2008, of 2010. And bottom line, folks, if we get into those highs, meaning get into those highs by a couple points, we are gonna see something that we haven't seen since 2011. When the dollar is down to 72, uh, maybe even 70. So bottom line is that uh, they're selling the dollar and they're selling the dollar uh, like wildfire. Some of the high volume stocks out here as we come into the close out here, even though we get a low, low volume market, you have Chesapeake Energy down 14 cents. You get Apple up a buck 48. Apple's coming out with their um, the day view of their the 8 on September 8th. You have uh, GE's down uh, eight cents. You get uh, Gilead, who's uh, buying Kite Pharmaceutical. That's up 88 cents. Kite Pharmaceutical's up $39. That was quite a trip. Kite Pharmaceutical, folks, uh, that had to be pretty intense on the shots because that had a 16.5% shot position and the stock opens up $39 today. Pretty intense. Inside the NDX 100, strength out there, uh, all the biotechs. He had. Uh, Biogen up 2.9%, Illumina up 2.4%, um, taking away uh, Expedia. The CEO of Expedia is now going to be the CEO of uh, Uber. That's down 4.3%. You get Autodesk off 2.8%, Baidu's down 2.4%, and Ultra Salon is down 2.4%. 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials right now down 28 NASDAQ is up 10 S&Ps are off 2.5%. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. 
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now down 26. You get the NASDAQ up 10. S&Ps are up 2. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the first hour. Don't forget, folks, Steve's got a great program right here at TFNN. Every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Now, all the programming, folks, at TFNN, you get right on your cell phone. You go to TFNN.com. You just hit Tiger TV. You're going to get some great HD quality uh, video. Steve also got a great newsletter. It's called Mastering Probability. You can test drive this 30 days right now. Go to TFNN. Go to newsletters. Go to trading newsletters. Test drive Mastering Probability 30 days absolutely free. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, time flies. At Labor Day. Can I know. you believe it? I, it's intense, man. There's no doubt. I'm, I'm, you know, it's, yeah, it is what it is. It's, it's hard I, to I, believe, like September, right? I, I had no idea. I was at a, at a little uh, party, a little uh, happy hour party uh, Saturday night, just chatting with some guys. Somebody said, yeah, it's, you know, I said, what are you doing next weekend? And they said, well, it's a long weekend. It's Labor Day. I know. I said, are you sure? I know, man. <laughs> I know. Seriously. It's, yeah, so I won't be with you next week, but it's nice. You know, we we only get what like six or seven days, especially off, the Mondays. So That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So so it is nice. But so let me show you and our listeners, our viewers out here, you know what it is that I'm watching for over the course of the next week. Okay. To really provide us with a signal as to whether or not we're about to begin a series of uh, lower highs and lower lows out here. And what I'm really focused on is the S&P 500. So this is a chart of the S&P 500. And there's two lines that are on this chart. The red line in the price area is what I call the oscillator unchanged line. And that goes with the uh, blue line at the bottom panel of my screen, which is the price oscillator. Now, price oscillator is the difference between two moving averages. In this case here, I'm using 19 and 39. It's especially important, folks, when the uh, price oscillator, blue line, bottom panel of my screen, gets towards that zero level. At that zero level is where the market really releases a ton of information to us. Now, what we will typically, and you can see right now, now this, this chart, this snapshot was taken about 15, 20 minutes ago. And you can see the reading on it is 0 0.655. So we're very close. Um, uh, another down day tomorrow will probably put us there. But we've had such narrow trading ranges. But we're getting very close to it. And I take folks back to the left-hand side of the chart because once we get that price oscillator to zero, then it's a matter of how price tests that red line in the price area of the chart. Yes. If 
what we see here is this this little red line, this uh, this oscillator and change line has truly acted as resistance ever since the August eighth high out here. Every time price has tried to make a move higher, it's run right into that level and it's knocked itself down. Now, what I don't know is it knocking itself down just simply to get this price oscillator down to zero and then give us the real test. You see, at that stage, then it depends on what price does. If price gets up there, tests it and rejects it right after the zero level, that's going to signal to you and I that prices are headed lower. The, os the opposite side of that trade is what occurred back in November. Now, this is not a this is not the type of tool that's going to allow you to sell the top tick or buy the bottom tick. So it's really, uh, in essence, it's a, a trending based tool. And an example of that is back here in November 15th. November 15th, 2016, S&P 500 is when that price oscillator got to the zero level. And it took almost a month. took till December 5th. Well, uh, a couple of weeks. took till December 5th until we got that price of the red line. Once price got above that, that told us we had a rising price oscillator above zero. And said, hey, you should be long if you were following this uh, tool until, well, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. Um, we need to see what uh, unfolds when that next text test occurs out here. And to, to show folks, again, how this actually works, now historically, if we go take a look at the 2009 low, again, you need to use other patterns, A to B equals CD patterns, tests of swing points, things of that sort to try to get as close to selling the top tick or buying the bottom tick. But if you take a look at from the momentum standpoint in 2009, near the lows out here, we saw the same type of signal occur on April 1st. On April 1st, 2009, we actually got that price oscillator at zero and the test of that red line. Uh, we see that there was a second bullish signal here inside of the S&P 500, July 14th, where we saw another test of that area out here. So it's a really good tool, and it's really important for folks to be watching this over the course of the uh, next uh, week to see what unfolds. The pattern works also to the downside, as this snapshot here, just going back to June 17th of 2008, if we go back further into the October, we'll, we'll also see it. But I want to show folks how... Once the price oscillator, the bottom panel, uh, that blue line got below zero, we saw the uh, test out here on June 17th, really gave you the signal to stick with the short trade inside the market. And um, up until we saw that uh, that that buy signal in uh, in in, Mar in April of 2009 out here, so it's a really good tool, and it's something that I want folks to. It's something subscribers and I are using right now to assess where we're at. If I take and it works for all instruments, Tom, which is a, a very cool thing. All instruments, all time frames. If I take a look at the uh, XLP. Well, that's interesting. That's not the chart for the XLP. Uh, let me do this here. Oh, that's a bummer. Uh, well, I've got it. I apologize. I've got it right here. I had slides out of order. If we take a look at what's going on inside the XLP, and I'll just kind of fast forward on this chart to where we're at today or as of Thursday last week. What we have here, so one of the sectors, the consumer discretionary sector inside of the S&P 500, has given us this little sell signal out here. So it's it's very cool tool. Helps you from being on the wrong side of the uh, trade out here, as uh, this shows back in uh, January of 2017. Uh, if I take a look at what took place here in July of this past year, we had the price oscillator here go below zero. But if you take a look at price, once it tested that red line, once it got above that, that was telling you that was not a short trade. Not necessarily a long trade either, but certainly not a, a short trade at that stage. So right now we've got a, a sell signal inside of the consumer discretionary uh, sector out there. Um, Lightsweet crude. Lightsweet crude, its price oscillator is uh, slowly approaching the zero line out here. And we can see we've had a series of lower highs and lower lows. What I don't know is whether or not we're just making an A to B equals CD to the downside to form a little bit of a Gartley buy pattern. But the way that we'll know is when this price oscillator gets down to zero, we'll be watching what I like to call my little red line out here. If price moves above it, then we'll have a rising price oscillator above zero. And it won't be the hurricane, which is a it's a, it's really not the hurricane, right? It's all the rain out there sure. that is, you know, what, what is causing the problem out here. But uh, we should get a signal here with regard to light sweet crude uh, within the next couple of days as well. Silver, here's an example of silver. You're talking about silver moving higher. Looks like it's headed to at least 1790, maybe higher out here. But uh, back on uh, August 15th, 
what we had is a nice little buy signal inside of silver. Obviously a nice breakout today. So it looks like that 1790-ish area is its target. Again, works for all instruments, all time frames. If we look at the euro, euro US dollar out here, again, just watching the price oscillator, watching how price handles that little red line area, a nice buy signal on April 18th. I heard you talking about the US dollar index maybe getting down to, did you say 82 or something? Well, 88. It's the first step, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. So, so uh, um, you know, it's a great tool, and if fo folks want to understand this tool, they should uh, come over to the homepage of TFNN.com, sign up for Mastering Probability. They can test drive that for the next 30 days. Uh, clients and I use this as a, as a uh, tool to help us identify which side of the trade to be in. Nice. And, folks, just as Steve said, go to TFNN.com. Go to newsletters, go to trading newsletters. You see Master and Probability Test Drive at 30 days absolutely free. And of course, don't forget, every trading day right here, 1 to 2 Eastern st Standard Time, TFNN.com, hit Tiger TV. Thanks, Steve. Have a great one, a safe one. Look forward to the show you tomorrow. Too. Take care. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Hi, folks. The 800th edition of the Gold Report will be published next Monday. To celebrate the last 15 and a half years of calling the gold market, I'm doing a special promotion. You can receive 60 weeks of the Gold Report for only $600. That is $10 a week, which is a savings of 50% off the regular price. If you want to understand the entire supply and demand equations that move the gold market, including where the XAU, HUI, and mining equities are looking to trade, if you want to understand the correlation between the dollar, the yen, the South African rand, bonds, and gold, the Gold Report is for you. I'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop for each equity, ETF, future, or option trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter with a focus on building real wealth to a successful portfolio of gold and silver equities. You can take advantage of this special promotion until August 27th. That's 60 weeks of The Gold Report for $600, which is a 50% savings. Go to the front page of TFNN.com or call 877-518-9190 and order now. If you're looking to open your portfolio to a world of opportunity, consider the new market-safe emerging currency CD from Everbank. This three-year U.S. dollar-denominated CD gives you exposure to five equally weighted currencies from Brazil, China, India, Indonesia, and Turkey at a time when experts see great potential for global growth. Even better, it features a 7.0 leverage factor, which means you could earn a potential market upside payment of seven times the CD's performance at maturity with no cap if the currencies increase in value over the CD's term. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. The September 28th funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a division of TIAA, FSB, member FDIC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. You had the uh, Dow uh, right now. We're down 16. NASDAQ's up 15. S&P's the flat. And if we go over to Amazon, we take a look at Amazon out here. Amazon right now. Uh, trading at 946. Now, it looks to me Amazon wants to test this 927 uh, of that big down day on the 9th of June. Um, they took over Whole Foods today, and bottom line is that 
Uh, the Whole Foods business is never going to be the same, folks. Uh, they had, uh, they reduced prices today on quite a few things pretty dramatically. Uh, we start with, uh, let's see, bananas, they brought down 30%. They brought down, uh, let's see, what else? They brought down fish, 32%. Um, meat, uh, Hamburg, 29%. Uh, organic baby lettuce, 13%. Uh, apples, <laughs> I, apples are so expensive anyway, it blows my mind. Uh, they brought down uh, one type of apple, 43%, and another type of apple, 33%. Um, rotisserie chicken, they brought down 29%. Big numbers. Uh, and then what they also did is that they, they, they got the Echo. Uh, there was a couple pictures of, uh, you talk about moving quick, folks. They not only moved quick, but they got the Echo uh, right inside. Uh, there it is. I'll put the picture up right inside uh, a few of these uh, Whole Foods. Um, so bottom line, uh, you know, now you're going to get uh, good food and it's going to be less expensive. Um, you had the big takeover uh, from uh, Gilead to uh, Kite uh, Pharmaceutical, and you talk about a score. So check this out. This is just pretty amazing. Uh, Gilead Sciences, 11.9 billion acquisition of the biotech company Kite Pharma, I uh, had one David Bonderman. This guy has made a lot of money through the, through the course of his life. No, no, no two ways about it. It's a giant uh, private equity uh, fund. Uh, bottom line, uh, he is going to get a profit of $425 million. Uh, now, he was in right from the beginning. He was in at $2 a, a share, folks. Uh, let me see. Yeah, 2011. So 2011 to 2017, that is making money. Bought it at two, $2 a share. He had 2.4 million shares. Going to be selling it at $1.80 a share. Pretty amazing. That is that is absolutely amazing. 877-927-6648. Let's go to the GDX. So what you had, you know, dollar's been moving down for a long period of time. We had the gold and the gold contracts, you know, and equities moving up. Uh, but as you've heard me say many times, uh, I was waiting for this wider price spread, accelerated volume. Well, got it all today, folks. Uh, GDX up 75 cents, 41 million shares. Uh, you're at 24.10, uh, 24.16. You're blowing away the high from June. This thing's going to, I suspect, go straight up to the, the 13th of April, which is the 24.88 level. XAU, HUI, same type of setup in both of those. XAU uh, right now is up three bucks um, at 88, uh, 83, taking out all the swing points. XAU is on its way to 90.82, which is the April high, and the Gold Bugs Index following. Uh, well, actually, the Gold Bugs Index is leading it all. Uh, Gold Bugs Index is uh, up seven and a half dollars, seven dollars and thirty-seven cents. We're at 208. Uh, the last swing high there was 204.55. That was blown that away. Uh, this is going to go up into this 216 area. And, uh, of course, uh, you know, what that is, well, let's go to the GLD for a second, because you're going to see this price spread and volume in all of them. And the GLD out here today, what we have inside the GLD, GLD uh, up a buck 82, 8.2 million shares traded. You are going over swing high with 13.5. You're... Yeah, next stop on this is the highs of July of 2016. It's 131. You know, so there's a lot of action. And individually, um, you got some real uh, strength. Uh, Barrick, who has been a weak stock, that's up 44 cents, $17.54. Newmont inside that sector, which is a very strong stock, that thing is really moved. It's up a buck 14. Um, taking out an additional, let's see, is it going to be another ABC up? Yeah, it is. It looks like it's going to get, it's going to get enough volume to be another ABC up. Uh, it had done one ABC, looks like right now it's going to basically uh, do another one because we're going after 3801, blowing that away, that would be what, 33, about four and a half. Which gets you, uh, well, it's, it's, it's about 40 bucks, the ABC. Let's go to Tom in Dallas. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how you doing? Doing great, man. Yourself? Wonderful. Cool. So, 
you guys are, are you guys far enough away from Houston that uh, you're just getting rain, or how does that work down between those two cities now? The sun is out here. Okay. Uh, a little bit wow. of overcast, but uh, yeah, we're we're pretty far away. I don't know what we only have twenty percent chance of rain all week. So That's, I don't yeah. know we're gonna we're gonna look like we're gonna see any of that. That's awesome, man. Quite a storm, I'll tell you that. Yeah. What are we gonna look at today? Well, I, I uh, loaded up on Nova Gold when it hit four bucks, and and you know normally it leads the the miners, and it just seems to be lagging. What's going on with it? Okay, so this is a great question, and this is where the differentials come in. So Nova Gold, folks, the low for the year is three seventy eight, the high is six twenty one. Now Nova Gold is an exploration stock, so when gold actually moves, you'll see this actually slow down. That's the difference, because they're not getting gold out of the ground. Mm -hmm. So what happens is this. This gets really intriguing as to what an exploration stock does at the beginning of a move and then what it does like before the move. Because what, what happens is that as gold accelerates, the market has to believe that, well, that's great if you're getting gold out of the ground, but if you're not getting gold out of the ground, it doesn't mean anything. So that's what you're facing here. And in Nova's case, to get gold out of the ground is going to be a very tough thing to do. Yeah. You know, that, I mean, the market's not expecting Nova Gold to get gold out of the ground for, I don't know, 10 or 20 years. So. Mm -hmm. you know, you know, that, Better to be in McEwen? Well, he's getting gold out of the ground, yeah. You know. The, the different, this is where the difference is, is that, you know, you get McEwen's up 19 cents. That's, that's, I mean, he's getting gold out of the ground. It's, it's, it's always a tough call. Now, let me go to the next step on this, though, because this is what does happen. Let's picture that, so Nova's at 431, right? If you go back over to the gold contract for a second, what you're going to see is that if gold... Let's picture, well, see, it's, Vista's already moving, though. Yep, that's not the case. Okay, man. Yeah, um, what I was just going to say, see, Vista Gold, when gold really starts moving, Vista Gold, which is another exploration stock, that moves like wildfire, okay? Now, this is what the difference is. Vista Gold is an exploration stock, but the market knows it can get it out of the ground. Nova, if, in fact, they, you know, do get it out of the ground, it, it'll be very successful, but they do business so far up north, just the equipment there. Well, well, picture this. This is how bizarre this is. I remember when the CEO bought the equipment in 2004 because they thought that they'd be going to be get it, and I'm sure that all that equipment in 2004 that they actually shipped up there, I'm sure is, I don't know if it's any good anymore. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. This All is right. still not a bad setup, it's, it, but that's what you're facing, man, more than anything. Do you know what I mean? Sure. Okay, man, have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN. Com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN. Com. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. 
For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. And folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, come up and visit us in Boston, September 30th. Okay, so we're going on the road. We're doing a live workshop in Boston, September 30th. This workshop is sponsored by Nadex. So it's a free workshop, folks. They're picking up the tab. We do appreciate that. Uh, bottom line, it's going to be a great workshop. It's going to go from, uh, it's at the Burlington Marriott, September 30th, 8.30 uh, to 1 o'clock. Actually, registration starts at 7.45. So we have registration 7.45 to 8.30. That's a continental breakfast check-in. You're going to get welcome remarks by our man, Mr. Dan Cook from Nadex. Uh, my son Tommy's going to be uh, introducing the workshop from uh, getting the fundamentals down of uh, how these different Nadex trades work from uh, 845 to 9. I'm going to be doing a time in the trade workshop live from 9 to 1030. Uh, 1030 to quarter of 11, we get a coffee break. Daryl Martin's going to be coming up teaching for an hour and a half. And then both of us are going to be up there with closing remarks and questions until 1 in the afternoon. So check it out on the front page of TFNN. When you do register, you get a copy of my book, The Art of Timing the Trade. You're going to get a great uh, continental breakfast. Bottom line, you're going to get a great education. Uh, what I'm going to be talking about there, I'm going to be talking about quality volume, cause and effect, the ABC structures, and testing. And uh, bottom line is that uh, between swing points and testing, folks, it's, all, it's what it's all about. Uh, that's where the market talks, walks, and squawks. And uh, if we go back and take a look at the S&P, it's going to be intriguing to see just, you know, where this baby goes, because what we have thus far in the S&P is this, is that, you know, you, we made our first high out there on June 2nd. Uh, that's 244.35. You know, we're basically down at that level right now. Uh, it breaks topside, does it with anemic volume, and makes a high with anemic volume. Since that date, meaning the last high on the 8th of September, what we've done is that you came down with monster volume, 120 million shares. You went back up with 56, three days. You come back down again with 128. You can see it, 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 the energy got even heavier on the way down. As we go back up again, the energy got much lighter again. We only did 63 million shares versus the counter trend bounce out there with 73 million. Now you built, you're going sideways, and uh, you know, I expect we're going to come into lower price. If we go over to the dollar and we take a look at the dollar, this is pretty in incredible that the dollar just couldn't get a bid and the amount of the bounce is so anemic that this dollar I suspect number one is going to get to 88 if we get to 86 guess what 80 72 well eight, yeah I'm going to bring this up 72 will be coming at you which is pretty intense so what you have with the dollar is this uh, the dollar from January 3rd till August 2nd went straight down January 3rd it's 103 January, uh, August 8th, it is, uh, August 2nd, it's 92. What do we do? You bounce up to 94. That's all you can get going, which is not even a bounce. And then the volume blows out of it again. Bottom line, 
you're going south, you're going south in a big way. Um, and that uh, is an indication, folks, <laughs> that all is not rosy uh, inside uh, this economy right now. And I'm not quite sure uh, where this thing's going to get hit. Um, but that's how, that's how it's set up. You know, you're, you're, um, the, the currency has everything to do with what's happening inside the economy. That's, that's what it has. That's, that's the name of the game. Uh, if we go over to the euro, we take a look at the euro. The euro came off that bottom of 103. That was in January. 103 euros to one U.S. dollar. Now it's 119. That's not, it's 20%. It's that bottom line is what? 17%. The euro went up in six months. 17%. That's insane. Bottom line, that might be insane, but guess what? This euro looks like it's going to go to 139 again. Monster, monster number. Huge. Okay? So, bottom line, um, you know, we, we talk about, uh, in fact, let's bring this up. We talk about Everbank quite a bit. And I had uh, Chris Gaffney on, the president of Everbank uh, World Markets, on Friday. Um, and if you want to basically protect some of your dollars, or if you want to divest and uh, go, come over to Everbank, folks. You're going to see they have a new emerging market CD. It's a market safe CD. Now, the way this works, which is really cool, this one happens to be a three year market safe CD. Uh, it's $1,500 to open. Your principal, the, the way these market safe CDs work, which is amazing, is that your principal is 100% protected. You have, it's FDIC insured, it's IRA eligible. Um, and the amazing part is that what you, what you do get is that you have upside potential. And in this particular case, the upside potential is pretty intense. If you hit the CD, if you first hit the banner, then hit the CD term sheet, what you're going to see is that you're going to see the breakdowns. And the breakdown in this particular CD, uh, that there's a 7.0 leverage factor. And that, what that means specifically is that if the currencies go up, and the currencies that you'd be putting this into uh, are the, let me get this in front of me, is the, uh, Open this one. I want to give you the right ones. Fund. So you got the. They got symbols here. I know we got the British real. We got the Turkey lira. We have let's see term sheet. Let me put it that way for a second. Let's see if, currency breakdown. Oh, and I need them to. Okay, so I will get all the exact currencies that we're, we're talking about here because they're, they're, they're the symbols right now, and I, I'm not sure what the IDR is. Um, but bottom line, I, I will get those for you. So what happens is this. You, you have a foreign currency account, CD. You get 7% of the upside, 7 times leverage factor. Your principal is 100% protected. That's the first one. Now, if we just talk... Currencies, if you think that you want to, bottom line, take five or 10,000 and you just say, okay, I want to put it into euro, well, you, they have currency accounts, folks, that have no fees. And what that means is that you turn around, you're going to give them US dollars, they put it into the currency of your choice, and bottom line, if the dollar goes lower, if you're going to Europe, if you're going to Mexico, um, wherever you're going on vacation, or in fact, that's what you want to do, uh, bottom line. Uh, that is a way that you don't have to trade, okay? And, in fact, you will either make money. Now, in that, in that one there, and that, the second one I'm talking about, that is that you are specifically saying, I want to take my dollars, and I want to put them into a foreign currency account, and that account, I either want euros, you, know, you can get yen, you can do, do whatever you want, but you would have that absolutely is not principal protected because you are that's a that's a fluctuating account. And if the dollar continues to go low and you you are continuing to go to higher, guess what? You go into Europe, you spend the money, um, you you basically yes, you'd make money. If the dollar starts going higher, euro goes lower, you're gonna lose money. But check it out in the front page of TFNN. Uh, they're great vehicles.
We go over and let's take a look at uh, back to Royal Gold for a second. Royal Gold's breaking topside once again. That's up 329. This looks like it's going right after its highs. There it is. So Royal Gold's high is uh, 100.84. Right now you're at 92.03. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials. Down 15, Nasdaq's up 14, S&P's a flat. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will Will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to tfnn.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's tfnn.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, is down 17. You get the Nasdaq up 12. S&Ps are down one. We're going to have a flat market out here. Volume-wise, folks, uh, right now you're at 423 million, so you're going to have anemic volume inside the NYSE. They'll throw a couple hundred in at the close. On the Nasdaq Composite, you're 1.3 billion. They will also throw about 300 million uh, in at that close. But the bottom line is you do have a sideways market out here. Um, we take a look at the VIX. Uh, Insurance out here, let's see, uh, this is. the VIX is trading at uh, 1141, uh, so uh, that is uh, still complacency that's laying out here. You know, you popped up to uh, $16 last week, the prior week you popped up to $17.28, the lower part of this range is kind of right where we are right now, $11.10, so uh, we'll see, uh, when you do get sideways markets, the bottom line, that, they, that thing can just keep coming south, south, south in a big way. Uh, bonds, bonds are still saying, uh, bottom line, this market wants lower price because uh, this, these 10 years, they are going right after uh, the highs of June. Right now, we're at 2.0, uh, 
close that one. Two, come on, baby, close. We're at 2.157. If we go back and we take a look at the last six months, 2.126 uh, is the low, 2.62 is the high. Uh, we go back the year, the year still make a big difference, 1.5. Um, well, actually, this is pretty cool. We are right in the middle of the range from the low of this year, and this goes back 12 months, by the way, low of the 12 months to the high. Low for the year is 1.534, the high is 2.6, we're at 2.1. So bottom line, you need to refinance, you're going to go buy a house, go do it, folks, because the bottom line, that uh, at a 10-year at uh, basically 2.2, you can get a 30-year out there at about the 3.5. Six to three point seven. Uh, that's how that uh, baby uh, will will lay out. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming back with uh, some numbers. Dow Industrials uh, right now are down eleven. Nasdaq is up fifteen. S and P's a flat. You have the gold contract up eighteen dollars ninety cents, trading at thirteen sixteen. Silver up forty cents, seventeen dollars fifty three cents. Copper up three and a half pennies at three oh nine a pound. And good old light sleep crew down a buck at forty six seventy two. Be coming right back, folks. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to Marty in Worcester. Hey, Marty, what's going on? Uh, hi, Mr. O'Brien. How are you? I'm doing great. How you been, man? Not bad. You know, you guys, over the time and with a few of your courses and seminars, you know, you taught me how to fish. That's a beautiful thing, brother. Yeah, it's true. And so what happens is I still listen all all the time, and to not only you, but some of the others, sure. to, you know, get an idea where the fish might be biting. As far as your services, they're a bargain. When you compare them to a certain prominent man with real estate courses at $35,000 and no contact with the lecturers afterwards at all, and you think of what you guys do for a few hundred, and you can get access and ask questions forever, you know, it's a great deal. No, no, we appreciate the growling problem with us out here. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Send some good white light and then need a lot of good energy down that Houston area, man. That is a wicked storm. Release the need to be right. When you believe something, you assume you're right. You may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials down five, NASDAQ up 17, S&P's up one. Flat market out there. That's what you have, folks. You have a flat market, sideways market, light volume. Gold contract. No such thing in the gold contract, though. Gold contract up 19 bucks. $1,316. Silver up 42 cents, $17.55. Both gold and silver broke topside once again. You get gold's a confirmed ABC structure in the way up. 1327 is your first number. Uh, bottom line, the way that uh, this gold contract is trading, folks, uh, it finally really went with some strength. What I expect you're actually going to see out here, uh, gold is going to make that run for the high that was out there on the uh, July of 2016, which is 1396. 
And when you build cars like we have inside the gold market, we've been building cars here since the first swing high of April 14th. Um, it had the volume, it kept, kept pushing with volume, pushing, 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 broke twice last week, top side. They couldn't shake it down last Friday. That was a pretty amazing last Friday would end up happening. Someone sold into the market in one minute, 20,000, uh, 2 million ounces of gold. Bottom line, the market ate it, spit it out, put it in its pocket, bought more. Bottom line, you get the gold contract, wants to run up to this uh, almost $1,400 area. Silver, same setup inside silver. Silver was up 2.5% today. Uh, silver market uh, broke top side, 54,000 contracts. Silver looks like it's going to make the run now to 1887. Uh, same type of setup also is that uh, built a bunch of cars, uh, had a rough day, a rough few minutes on Friday. Bottom line, couldn't hold it down. Guess what? You can't bust them down. You're going to bust them up. Bonds. What do we have with the bond market? Same setup here. The, the, the bond market is just a, remarkable, folks. You know, you have the Fed out there saying that, yes, they're going to go up on short-term rates. Well, the market doesn't believe them. If you take the Fed fund futures rate, what has happened now is this. You're you going to see this. This is pretty incredible. What has happened since Friday till today is that the March meeting, so picture this, we're in August, right, coming up to September. What had happened is that the first time that this was over 50%, the probability of another short-term rate of rate hike of one quarter percent, um, March 21st, it was oh, like 50, it was fluctuating between 52 and 54%. Well, guess what? We don't have a, it's not over 50% now until next June. These are the numbers. You have a 4% chance on the meeting September 20th. You have a 6% chance November 1st. 33% chance December 13th. 32% chance January 31st. 46 March 21st. 46 May 2nd. 54% June 13th. That's pretty incredible, folks. And this bottom line, this, this bond market, guess what? They're buying bonds hand over fist. More demand, less supply. King dollar, king dollar, get the peanut butter, get the jelly, get the toast, it's, it's done. King dollar has been on a one-way trade since January 3rd. In fact, well, if we look at this, let, let's look at this, because this is so intriguing how this whole thing shook, shook out. You had election, uh, election night, here it is, okay, so election night, what we had is this. Um, the, well, first off, the dollar stopped moving way before that, okay, so... The dollar was trading at 91 in, let's see, May of 2016. You went sideways for quite a while. By August of 2016, so that's a year ago, right? We were at 94. Crawled up um, in, you know, then in November, uh, you talk about fast and furious. We were at 95. N election, it went from 95 to 98. January 3rd, it went up to 103. From January 3rd on, it's busted. It's busted, not only busted down, uh, it's broken support, and it's broken support convincingly uh, with wide price spread, with volume, and now what you have, this consolidation that we had been in inside the dollar index had started, folks, January of 2015. So we'd been, we had been in a consolidation with the bottom of the consolidation being 93, the top of the consolidation be 100. And you can really learn something about how this dollar, when you have a breakout and you get a failure. We broke top side, it failed. When that happens, you're going to try to break the bottom of the consolidation. Now, we broke it. So bottom line, when you break a large consolidation like this, what you do is say, okay, where's the next stop? Well, the next stop happens to be the highs of 2008 and the highs of 2010. And, and it's great that they're there, because if they weren't there, then I'd be saying right now it's going to 78. We should get some support at this 88 area. If we don't, and you get to 86, then get out of the way, because then you're talking about a $73, which would be pretty intense. It'd be like, okay, what is going on uh, with our U.S. dollar? Now, if we spend dollars in the United States, that's cool, okay? Bottom line, your wealth doesn't get affected as much. 
You're spending that dollar overseas, your wealth is getting affected dramatically. I mean big time, okay? Because the bottom line is that if we go look at the euro, what you're going to see the difference in the euro in the last three months is that we're at 103, 105 euros to one U.S. dollar. We're at 119, almost 120 right now. This broke topside. The euro looks like it's going to be running to 140. That is a big number, folks. So bottom line, whether we want vacations over there, um, you know, things get a lot more expensive. Uh, the oil market. So this is, uh, this is deviant, no doubt, to bottom line. You know, you get a huge storm. Oil goes south. Gasoline goes north. And what's this all about? Well, we broke a swing point. You broke it with volume. This wants lower price. We broke the $46.62. You went $46.15. That's uh, setting up that uh, oil wants to get out of $44.62. And more than likely, what that is all about is that the... We're going to be using, well, we have a lot of oil, and we're going to be using less oil. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials closed down five. NASDAQ up 17. S&P's up one. We're going to be right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Um, so, uh, the storm in Houston. This is going to get... Uh, 
uh, these poor people down here, they need help. Uh, and this is where it's going to get intriguing, folks. Okay, so you get uh, key lawmakers began pushing Monday for Congress to provide emergency disaster funds to respond to Hurricane Harvey in Texas, setting up a high-profile fight as early as next month that could put the Republicans in a tough spot. As the scale of the damage from the storm becomes apparent, uh, Texas Democrat uh, Sheila Jackson Lee said it will, she will draft a robust relief measure to be added to the spending bill on the House floor next week. A bottom line is that this is going to add, uh, you know, what we have is this. You have the budget coming up. Um, you get a few, uh, the tax bill coming up. Uh, now the bottom line is that what you're going to see uh, is that we're going to see what the amount of relief is going to come in to that area. And, and the intriguing thing, of course, is that um, there's always big fights about this, folks. There, there's no doubt as to... How much relief comes in, how fast the relief comes in, uh, bottom line, uh, what are the restrictions as the relief comes in. Uh, this one is going to be intriguing just to watch it uh, shake out and see where everyone actually does stand. You know, So we're, we're going to find that out pretty quickly. We're going to take a look at the um, uh, Kite Pharmaceutical. Uh, Kite Pharmaceutical out here, that got taken over by Gilead. Uh, that was one monster deal, folks. Uh, bottom line. Uh, Kite opened up this morning, $38. This is an equity uh, that we actually, we bring this back. What you're going to see, this went IPO, I believe it's $17. Yeah, when, uh, and June 20th, went to IPO at $17. Um, you know, it's going to get sold out at $180. And uh, there's, there was quite a few shot positions in it. 16.51 uh, shares were shot. That's 8.1. One million shares were shot out of the 57 million. That is, just figure it out. Uh, that is pretty intense, man. That was that was a hit extraordinaire. Let's go over to the stay with the energy business for a second. So the energy companies have been going down for quite some time. In fact, the XLE uh, was going south before the actual oil market uh, went south. You know, if we go, if we look back in December of 2016, XLE is at 78. Right now, it's 62. And bottom line, it looks like it's making its way to 56. 56 is the low uh, established out here in 2016. Uh, if we go take a look at this oil market, what you're going to see, the oil market right now, and this is going to be wild because we're coming into the winter. But first, let's go to crude oil first. Crude oil today was down 2.5%. That being said, gasoline was up 27 But let's go to crude first. So crude's down $1.22. Took out a B point of an ABC structure on the way down. That B point, so the A point on this is $50.51. Your B is $46.62, uh, so approximately uh, five bucks. That's going to bring you down to 40, approximately 44 to 43 bucks. So 44 is a swing point from the 10th of July. That's where this baby looks like it's going to go. Now, let's go over to gasoline, so, because what had happened is that it was the gasoline and the refineries that got hit, but they had plenty of oil. Uh, it's just a, a back up. They're out there pushing it out again. And what you're going to see is that when the storm was coming in, you know, bottom line, gasoline went from $1.49 wholesale. We hit $1.61 wholesale today, but guess what? This failed. Let me bring this back a little bit more. You're going to see that this actually failed to hold price. I suspect the volume is going to be big, though. Look at that. No, it's not. Interesting. Okay, so that's it with gas, too. So, check this out. Gas, unleaded gas today goes to 161.89. We did 133,000 contracts. Well, and we closed on the Friday, which is 167. So you had the test, failed on the test, failed on the volume. Bottom line, man, we must have a lot of oil and a lot of gas out there. Bottom line, this is saying it's, even gas is going to come back down. So that is going to be absolutely wild. Let's go to the natural gas market. So the natural gas market, that was up 1.27% today. And that has been a sideways move. This, this, this looks like it wants higher price. Yeah, this wants higher price. So natural gas is pushing into its swing with volume picking up. We did 162,000 contracts. You're going into 138,000 contracts at $3.02. Right now you're at 2 dollars and what does happen, of course, is that you have the EIA numbers out on Wednesday. The 
National gas numbers out on Thursday. And what we are going to have out here, um, you know, this is a holiday week. Well, we're coming into holiday weekend. You do have jobs numbers on Friday, but what you can expect is that uh, the jobs numbers on Friday, they're going to come in um, light. And the reason for that, this is what normally happens, folks. Uh, when you get a big storm, you know, like we're talking about, uh, they, they come in light because ASAP, that's that many, that, that's that type of gross domestic product that is not moving whatsoever. And, of course, Texas is huge. Houston is huge. That's going to that's gonna affect those numbers. So it's going to be really hard to, for economists, the market in general, to gauge those numbers. Uh, the intriguing thing is that because they're coming in on a Friday of the Labor Day weekend, I don't even expect uh, this Friday is going to have any action. What I expect we're going to see is that you're going to see on Thursday that the action actually starts falling off in the afternoon. Some of the uh, Dow stocks out here, we had IBM down $1.23. You had Boeing up 129, Coke was down 15 cents. You had Procter and Gamble uh, up uh, down four. Amazon, this is the first day uh, Amazon took over Whole Foods. Amazon traded flat. We're at 946. I do expect Amazon's going to go down to 927. And uh, bottom line, they not only got a lot of press by taking over Whole Foods, uh, it looks that uh, I suspect that, you know. The first, if, if I just gauge inside our Tiger's Den, uh, the folks that actually went to Whole Foods today, they're very happy. Bottom line, you had big price breaks straight across uh, many things inside uh, Whole Foods out here today. Uh, they, and we're talking about, you're talking about meats, you're talking about fish, you're talking about um, vegetables, and they're big numbers, man. They, they, they go from like 13% uh, lower from Friday to 29% for meat. For Hamburg, that is, 33% for apples, 40, one apples, 40, 43%. I get too much money for those apples anyway, and it blows my mind. And they always put per, per pound. It's like almost every apple almost weighs a couple, well, not a couple of pounds, but a couple of apples weigh at least a pound. Bottom line, um, and then what they also put inside, they, um, uh, the Whole Foods is uh, the uh, Echo. Uh, so bottom line is that you're going to go inside Amazon, as that my son Tommy said today, now it's going to be an Amazon store. I said, yeah, electronics. Bottom line is that this is going to be an Amazon store. There's no doubt about it. You can picture, I can picture that you're just walking down the aisle, you know, they get those dash buttons that you can order at home. You just hit them, boom, 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 boom. You probably got something on your wrist. They'll know your prime number. Hit the buttons, go home, and maybe the, um, that'll be the next ad, I think. The next ad would be that you can just, you can go, if you happen to be driving by a store, you go to the store, you just go press a few buttons inside the store, you don't take anything with you, and maybe that the uh, Bezos would try to get the groceries home before you're home. That'd be quite an ad. You stay right there, folks, we'll be coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow finished down five, NASDAQ up 17, S&P's up one and a half. We're going to break back. If you're looking to open your portfolio to a world of opportunity, consider the new market safe emerging currency CD from Everbank. This three year US dollar denominated CD gives you exposure to five equally weighted currencies from Brazil, China, India, Indonesia, and Turkey at a time when experts see great potential for global growth. Even better, it features a 7.0 leverage factor, which means you could earn a potential market upside payment of seven times the CD's performance at maturity with no cap if the currencies increase in value over the CD's term. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. The September 28th funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a division of TIAA, FSB, member FDIC. Hi folks, the 800th edition of The Gold Report will be published next Monday. To celebrate the last 15 and a half years of calling the gold market, I'm doing a special promotion. You can receive 60 weeks of The Gold Report for only $600. That is $10 a week, which is a savings of 50% off the regular price. 
If you want to understand the entire supply and demand equations that move the gold market, including where the XAU, HUI, and mining equities are looking to trade, if you want to understand the correlation between the dollar, the yen, the South African rand, bonds, and gold, the Gold Report is for you. I'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop for each equity, ETF, future, or option trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter with a focus on building real wealth to a successful portfolio of gold and silver equities. You can take advantage of this special promotion until August 27th. That's 60 weeks of The Gold Report for $600, which is a 50% savings. Go to the front page of TFNN.com or call 877-518-9190 and order now. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade Think or Swim is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Well, it's going to cost uh, 13 bucks a pack for cigarettes in New York, folks. New York boosted the minimum price of a pack of cigarettes by 24% today to 13 bucks. Placed a cap on the number of tobacco sellers, part of the city's biggest crackdown on smoking in a decade. Uh, bottom line, yeah, well, now less people hopefully will die. Uh, if we go take a look at Ultra Group, what you have with Ultra Group, it didn't affect them. Bottom line, it was only down 15 cents. Uh, this, that being said, what did, <laughs> I'm not sure what took them to clean this, but uh, what did take them to clean is on the 28th of uh, July, uh, Ultra traded from 74 to 60. Uh, let's bring this back a bit and see what we got here. So this has been on a one-way track all the way up. It went from $14 in 2008 High of 75. You're off the high with volume. Yeah, this this looks like this looks like uh, Ultra is going to finally get hit. I mean, this thing next stop is somewhere into the 56 area. You get volume there, and then you're talking 27. And let's just see. They pay a big dividend. They're paying a 4% dividend even at this price point. So that no doubt is a big dividend. If you happen to be um, in the New England area, folks, we're coming to Boston. We're going to be doing a, a workshop. Uh, now, this workshop is sponsored by Nadex, folks. So uh, they are picking the tab up for the uh, workshop. We do appreciate the uh, sponsorship. Uh, you can appreciate uh, bottom line. You can be to a great workshop and um, learn quite a bit about how these markets move. It's going to be September 30th. It's going to be live. Uh, we're going to, it's going to be at the Burlington Marriott. You can come over to our website. You can sign up. You're going to get an order of. Uh, you're going to get a copy of the Out of Time in the Trade, my book, a signed copy. Uh, we start at 7:45 in the morning. We're going to go to one in the afternoon. Uh, bottom line, check it out on the front page of TFNN if you'd like to uh, come to that workshop on September 30th. And of course, we look forward to coming up with all you tigers and tigers just growling and prowling up in the Boston area. What a great time to do it too. <laughs> um, Weather-wise, September up there is phenomenal. Let's go over and we take a look at the um, banking stock. So you have the bond market going south. Well, bottom line, it's actually the price is going north, going up. The yield is going down. So the banks, of course, they need higher interest rates so that their spread is larger. And the banks have had a hard time getting over $25.29 in the XLF. Uh, we were there March of 2017. We were there August, the first week of August. 
Couldn't handle it. What does it set up now? Well, it sets up the bottom of this is just 2290. And each and every time we've been down to this 2290, by the way, you're down with volume, you're up, it dies on the vine the way up. So it actually looks to me like a 2170 is going to be game. If we go to JP Morgan Chase, which is one of the largest banks out there, same setup. You can't handle that higher price. JP Morgan, we're at 9160. Um, you know, your lowest swing point here is 9019. It has volume. That's saying that that baby's going to go lower too. You know, so the way that these... The banks are set up the way bonds are set up right now. Uh, that's saying that, uh, bottom line, uh, lower interest rates are coming at us. The dollar is a wild card, man. The, the dollar, you know, uh, when, when I started the gold report in 2001, you know, fundamentally here, I'll bring up the, just so you can see the, the, the correlation uh, inside the dollar, inside the debt structure, uh, our debt structure, that is, inside the aspect of uh, where gold was. So when the dollar was at 120, which is uh, February of 20, 2002, folks, gold was at 282. So that correlation was like, okay, what had happened is that it had been trading up at this area since October of 2000, all the way over to uh, April of 2002. And what it had already done, first it made a high, it came off the volume with high, with, came off the high with volume made another high, came off with volume again, and then made another high. That's why I ended up getting in the market, because gold did just the opposite. Gold made a low. The low of gold is 252. We get in at 282. It had made the low, went up, pulled back with lighter volume, went up again, pulled back, and that was the buy. So, well, the reason I'm going through this now, because you got to see how this shook out. So the dollar went from 120 and went straight down to 81. So that's 40 cents, right? That's pretty intense. Okay, so let me show you what we've done here. Then, then we traded, okay? We, we traded, you know, bottom, we traded sideways. The first leg down was vicious. They just traded sideways, no big deal. You, you made another leg down in 2005 to 2008. That low in 2008 was 70.80. Okay, we go sideways for almost nine years. We came off the lows in 2014. You bust the, finally, the 88 price point. You get higher. Then we failed on price and volume. Now the real question is, okay, do we stop at 88? Or are you going all the way down into the aspect of 73? Okay. Now, the difference is, in my own head, is like, okay, so was the dollar just overvalued and we're coming back? Or, in fact, is something out here? Because we, in the case of when we were at the 120, our deficit was a monster. The deficit's still pretty good, but what's happened is that we are getting, there's less bonds that are out there because we are getting more in the treasury than folks expected. And then what's also happening is that people are working longer. So all these numbers that, when we go back to the 20 years ago, what happens, there's correlations aren't in place. People aren't retiring at 62 and 65 years old. They're paying taxes. In fact, they're paying a lot of taxes. So the Treasury's getting a lot more money in than they ever expected to get in. On top of that, what we have, because of the expansion in this market, this year, the amount of bread that's going to go in the market is going to be, meaning in the Treasury, is going to be huge. So when you start taking this all together, it's like, okay, why is the dollar going down like this? Well, we're going to find out. That's the bottom line. We're going to find out. But fundamentally, at this point, I, I don't see it. I, I can't. I'm, I'm trying to grab something. I said, okay, why is it going down uh, so dramatically? You know? And as I said a little bit earlier, if you, it, it's good in the context that if you're exporting goods, importing goods, that is going to get, the expenses are going to go up dramatically. So when we're importing something from the outside, that expense goes up dramatically. If we're exporting, bottom line, yes, that is good for the exporter. The thing that's pretty wild, now if we, if we pull this back to the, the oil market, this is what's really, this is, this is showing me how much oil we actually have. Oil's priced in U.S. dollars. So you have a dollar that has given it up in price in an incredible way. You get oil that has given it up in an incredible way. 
And most of the time that when you see a dollar that gets destroyed, bottom line, what would that be? Well, you get a commodity price that goes higher. Well, that's not what we're getting. It's not even close. So bottom line, what does that say? It very well could say that deflation is right around the corner versus inflation. You know, and maybe Amazon will, will do it in the food business because we know that food just continually is going up. But maybe they're going to change that whole business right now. And that'll be pretty wild if, in fact, uh, Amazon's the one, the catalyst to change that business. We like to get them in the uh, college loan business. That's the business they got to change so these poor young folks won't graduate dead up to the eyeballs. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. You listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high-definition video giving you crystal clear charts as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. Take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Let's go to uh, Vicki in Texas. Hey, Vicki, what's going on? Hi, Vicki. How you doing? I'm, I'm doing fine. How are you? Good, thank you. Good. What are, what are we going to look at today? Oh, I was watching Gilead today. It went up with a lot of volume, and I wondered if it would be a good time to get in or not. Let's take a look. So you get uh, Gilead. Gilead turned around and bought uh, Kite Pharmaceutical out here today. The low for the year, Gilead, 63. The high is 82. Yeah, you get that's it. Okay, so it goes up on volume, gives it up on price. Let me pull this back a bit. Okay, so you're off the bottom. I'd wait until, I'd just wait a bit. I mean, the, the buy on Gilead is like $71.44. And where I'm going there, Vicky, is this. When this came off the low, 
Okay, came off a little nice too. I mean, this this equity does look like it wants to go to 88 bucks. Um, it came yeah. off the low, had price spread, had volume, does the next leg up. Now, what you've done out here today, though, is that on a weekly basis, you know, you're going into this high of $76.49. We'll see whether you get the volume. It's certainly got it today, uh, but that might be it for the week. Okay. Um, and if that's it, well, then on a pullback, you know, whether it's like... Yeah, 71.82 to like 71.44. That wouldn't be a bad deal. Let me just see something. Okay. Let me see. So you got. It's two. You pay. It yeah. pays a 2.78, uh, 2.78 um, dividend. Mm -hmm. You know. I just wait a little bit longer. What a couple, just a few days, and see if it goes down to seven. You I wouldn't buy. I would. I would wait regardless. I wouldn't. This is what ends up happening is that it did have the volume, big time. It didn't get to the price, the swing point, however, which is the $76.46. So okay. you got up, someone's selling up there big. And, you know, this is, a, this is an equity that looks to me like it is off the bottom, but this was quite a hit. I mean, the stock was, you know, $123 in June of 2015, comes down, you know, to 63. You're still pretty close to the bottom. I wouldn't... You know, I think you're still going to get a chance to get this. As someone asked me, was an ABC up? It's not, um, and the reason it's not is this: it would ha it would have had the if it does, if it had hit the seventy six forty nine, it would have been because up there, there's only uh, eight million shares trading. We did eighteen million, so for the ABC up, we'd have to take that price out with volume because your then your a point on that would be 68.54 which is the low of july your b would be 76 so it's a it's a decent one but that would have to take that out to be an abc structure on the way up what if it took it out tomorrow would then, it be then, then then it's an abc up yes it would be yeah so then would it still retrace to 71 not necessarily i mean i'm not guaranteed it will retrace there either but i, I suspect it will because when you go up so dramatically, and then you're selling off so dramatically, I mean, um, that was just the open. So the open, they spiked that 1.9 million shares on the spike. I'm, I'm looking at it right now. You both bars at the open had, out of the 18 million, 4 million was right down in there. Okay. And then on the, on the close today, you had quite a sell. On the close today, you, had, you sold 1.4 six million and realistically when you come in and they bought kite okay and it's it is unusual when you get a takeover like that that is such a high premium that both stocks go up but that's what ha did happen and see if you look at kite this is pretty amazing they they paid 180 dollars a share and this is a company this year that only took in $42 million, yet next year they Ooh. plan on taking in four, $204 million. So that's, you know, just have Wait, some... it... I'm sorry, go ahead. This, this one, will this one be a buy at some point? No, 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 Kite's not. No, they, they're going to be owned by Gilead now. That's why, that's why you'd probably want to be buying Gilead, right. All right. Yeah. Okay, have a great one. Have a safe one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 877-927-6648. You know what's going to be intriguing here, folks? I was talking about the aspect of, um, you know, what happened in Houston. Bottom line, you know, they need relief. Uh, that's going to be, you know, where the, where the market was looking at coming back in September, the market was looking at the aspect, of course, the debt ceiling. You know, Congress kept putting off the debt ceiling, putting it off, putting it off. McConnell said, no, it's not going to be any problem, you know, and I suspect maybe there shouldn't have been any problem. We're going to see how this shakes out now, because one of the main, you know, deals inside large relief bills is that there's always huge fights. And in this particular case, you have a Republican-controlled Senate, Congress, and White House it's hitting Texas. 
which is Republican controlled. And, but on top of that, depending, if you remember Sandy or not, both of those senators voted against sending any money up to Supersom Sandy. It was a $50 bill, um, and bottom line, they voted against it. Uh, now, that is going <laughs> to, so it's going to be intriguing to see how, how, what they do inside of their own hometown. I expect, I expect they'll vote for it, but that expectation uh, <laughs> might be far-fetched. Because, um, yeah, hey, we'll we'll see how this shakes out. That's the bottom line. Uh, but what that that will what that will do, that is going to throw a curveball, I suspect, on the aspect of the whole debt ceiling. The reason being is that there's always been this fight about when you do a relief bill. Does the relief bill? go against the full debt ceiling and does Congress simultaneously have to pull back on something else? So Congress has been fighting about that part of it for 20 years. Um, it's never been straight as to what it is. This particular one, because of the way we're set up right now, coming into the debt ceiling is going to affect it because there's a couple different ways you can deal with that. The Texas is a huge state. Um, they can put some carrots out there so they can get the votes that they want. In this particular case, though, um, it's going to be a little bit different because they already have the votes that they want from the Republicans. So it's going to be whether uh, these folks want to come up and basically help uh, help the folks in, in Houston. And because of the devastation and because of the amount of um, folks that don't have flood insurance and didn't need flood insurance that have got wiped out, that's where this whole thing is really going to get dicey as to are they going to be grants that come in or just low income loans? That's, that's, that's how it normally happens. When you actually, when you're in a flood zone, it's different because what happens in a flood zone, folks, like we have plenty of them in Florida. What happens in a flood zone, bottom line, you can't get a mortgage without flood insurance. So people have flood insurance. When you're not in a flood area, which in Houston's case, there's plenty that weren't in flood areas that got wiped out. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow finished down five, NASDAQ up 17, S&P's up uh, one and a half. We're going to be right back, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. 
The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. And don't forget, folks, we're coming up to Boston September 30th doing a workshop sponsored by Nadex. It's a free workshop. Check it out on the front page of TFNN. Um, gasoline. Oil, if you want to know why uh, oil prices are down, folks, uh, here it is kind of laid out. Hurricane Harvey's strike at the heart of the U.S. oil and gas industry caused backups throughout the petroleum system uh, today. Uh, from storage tanks in Cushing, Oklahoma, to tankers waiting for Gulf ports to open and set U.S. gasoline prices soaring to the highest levels in about two years. The shutdown of 2.2 million barrels, or 12% of the U.S. Re refining capacity, uh, pushed wholesale gasoline prices up 6.8 percent that being said check out this so you get huge disruptions the massive rainfall has restricted the ship traffic coming into the texas gulf coast from corpus christi to sabine pass right now there are 14 tankers in a log jam lined up to deliver oil that also on top of that folks what you have is this is that you have the um demand aspect the storm is also putting a huge damper on demand throughout the Gulf Coast region, which closing down refineries, uh, closing down pipelines. And what that also has done is this, is that it has caused pipelines coming across the country, Cushing, a pipeline and storage hub that serves as a price point for West uh, Benchmark West Texas Intermediate Gold. Uh, crude uh, is basically backed up and it is not only just backed up, folks, uh, it's backed up for quite some time, meaning so they have tankers that, that want to get in, they can't get in, and each and every day what you're going to have here um, is that the longer this um, basically goes on, we'll see whether it's a, another couple of days, you can see the aspect. You have people using less oil, tankers that are outside, brings the price of oil down. It looks to me... Um, Oil in general, as I said a little bit earlier, gasoline looks to me like it already peaked out today. That's going to come back. Uh, bottom line, with the dollar going down so dramatically, oil still going down, we have plenty of oil. We have oil everywhere. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Everything you need is right inside you. Go for a blast with it, folks. Look forward to speaking right back here at 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Wow! Go get them, folks. Crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report. And make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com.